Doctor, when can I wear spectacles after my nose job? This is one of a very common question being asked to us time in and time out. Now, when we do rhinoplasty, we work on the patient's nose, on the dorsum, tip, and sometimes even on the septum. We call it septal rhinoplasty. But whatever it is, a lot of pain and effort is put in to reshape this bone, cartilage, and the surrounding structures. And I have mentioned time in and time out that it takes four to five weeks before you can expect total healing. So does it mean that you can't wear specs for four to five weeks? Well, typically I should tell patients not to wear specs for four weeks, but now, thanks to this Rhino Shield from the US, patients can wear their specs even after a week. So what this basically does is they give us with tiny shapes like these made of, I think silicon, I'm not sure what's made of, but it's really nice, soft, supple material that protects the nose from the spectacle injury. So that's really useful. And this comes in different sizes. <laughs> so the right size for the right patient we suggest. That's one of the things that's useful for the patient in the immediate post-op recovery period. Having said this, patients still need to be careful when they use spectacles for long periods of time because that can apply pressure and cause increased edema or swelling. So I do ask the patients to be careful when they wear specs after rhinoplasty and after nose job. Sometimes we do a very minimalistic small nose surgery and then they can wear it earlier. So I think it's still better that the treatment period is varied. It depends on what has been done for the patient. But generally after four weeks, it's absolutely safe. We also use recommend the use of stuff like this, like Nordscan, which can reduce the, which can speed up the process of wearing the spectacle. Another common question they ask us is, Doctor, when can I blow my nose? Now again, this depends on what is done. For a lot of patients that we do septorhinoplasty, we in fact block their nose and keep for a few days. So those patients obviously cannot blow for the, let's say, first five to six days. So what happens after that? It's still not a good idea to blow your nose for the first two weeks after rhinoplasty or especially after septorhinoplasty because that can cause some bleeding. When you increase the pressure while blowing your nose, it increases the pressure inside the nose. And since the surgery is also done inside the nose, by increasing the pressure, you're increasing the chance that there might be a bleeding. And if it bleeds, then you might have to keep pressure or might have to go in and meet the surgeon again. So it's wiser not to blow the nose for the first couple of weeks. And I think that's also very essential that patients follow these instructions. Uh, thank you.